Okay, well, I got the rest of the adjustable feet put on. Um, I flipped the table over, and I'm getting ready to add the uh, lower stretchers. A traditional method of doing this would be to have the stretchers mortised and tendoned into the legs. I uh, have another idea, and uh, it doesn't involve uh, that much work. Also, uh, I wanted to keep these legs as, as intact as possible, but I still wanted to have it braced up really well. So. I cut these pieces of plywood out and they have half flat joints to fit together and they'll fit between the, the posts. The best way to do this is to actually put it on and uh, then you can, you can see it. First thing to do is to measure down. Getting some glue on here. Both ends. And I'm using, I'm going to be using one and a half inch wood screws to screw this on. I'm not going to be drilling any pilot hole. I'm going to use this to help me line it up. Now I've got it on my mark here. I just drive in the screw. And then do the same on the other side. Leg needs to be spread apart a little bit. I'm just putting one screw in for now so that I can check to make sure that the legs are still square to the table frame. The bottom stretcher should be square to that leg. And I can see that it has to go that way a little bit. Best way to do that is with root force. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, it should be close. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I'm about 30 seconds of an inch out. I'll hit it again. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just use the clamp to get it pulled in tight here. Yeah, like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect, but, you know, 
if it's too far off, it'll really be noticeable. Okay, well I've added the outside boards between the legs. Uh, these are glued and nailed in. Just getting ready now to put this one in. First thing is to run a bead of this glue up the corner on both sides. stretcher in. Just to make sure it's flush against the top. The bottom, uh, not really important, but the top needs to be flush. That'll do it for the bracing in the bottom. Um, I think that's pretty strong. All I gotta do now is flip the table over, fit the shelf, and put it in. I'm just gonna be gluing that in with a few brads to hold it in place. It'll be glued down solidly to this uh, plywood frame and the outside stretchers. So it'll add a lot of rigidity to the table as well. All right, well, the table is in roughly about the area where it's going to be, at least uh, as long as I'm in the shop. And um, I cut the shelf uh, to fit. I carefully laid it out in the notches, and uh, I just tried it if it's in there good. Um, the shelf is three-quarter inch plywood. Um, I got it from a cabinet, actually a wall unit, that I made a few years ago that I recently uh, took apart because uh, I didn't need a wall unit anymore. It was just too big. So, you know, you're going to reuse what you have. Uh, that makes sense. So, perfect bottom shelf. I've got my glue here. I'll uh, put some glue on the plywood edges and set it in. Alright, now it's just to carefully slip it in. And that's it. Um, I held it back from the edge here because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut some half inch by one inch uh, solid maple and glue it and nail that in too. That makes this bottom part more of a tray. So stuff uh, won't roll out and uh, covers the edge of the plywood to make that a little bit more durable. So first I'm going to put a couple of nails in this just to hold it down until the glue dries. Okay, here it is. It's all finished. Um, it came out well. I really like it. Seems to be a good size for the things that I'm going to do. I generally do smaller things in steel, so the size uh, being two by three, it's probably going to be perfect. Um, I have it uh, put here 
for now. Um, it's not an ideal location, but it's close to the drill press. And um, when I move out of this shop into um, my new one, if that ever happens, if I ever get out of here, uh, I'm sure I'll have a better place for it. I painted the frame black and I urethane the legs, they're cedar, so I just gave it a coat of clear urethane to break them up and keep them clean. Uh, the, um, the pine that goes around the bottom, I stained to match the legs better. And the shelf I just left uh, with the finish that was already on it kind of blends in pretty well. The, um, the leveling legs that I made for this uh, work, work great. Um, I moved it into this spot and used, just used a wrench to turn the, the feet up and down until I got it nice and flat on the floor. It's not level because the floor slopes too uh, radically here. But it doesn't have to be for, for now. When I get it to the wooden location, uh, I'll level it up properly. It's an excellent little project to do. Um, Cost-wise, it costs very little for me because I have a lot of the material already. Now, if you're able to scrounge uh, material, I mean, get it at scrapyard or wherever, uh, you, can, you can put one of these together very cheaply. Uh, the only thing I bought new was the top and the quarter-inch steel plate. I really couldn't find any of that um, cheaper, so not in good shape anyways. I wanted the top to be nice and flat. And uh, I thought it was worth the small expense, actually, to, to do that. Um, everything else is free, pretty much. So all in all, uh, a pretty fun project to do. I um, enjoyed doing it. Um, it didn't take long. Uh, a lot of the details are in the videos, and some of them are uh, a lot more of them actually are on my website, uh, www.ibuild.ca. There will be lots of photos there on the build and uh, a SketchUp model showing the, uh, the dimensions of this table if you want to take a crack at making one yourself. Anyways, that's it. Uh, you'll be seeing this in upcoming videos, I'm sure. Uh, thanks for watching.